Good morning, everybody. My name is Natalia Klevna. I'm from Ukraine, and today I'm ready to present my online lesson. So let's get started. Hello, dear students. How are you today? Oh, I'm also really happy to be with you today. At the previous lesson, we have got to know what the tail is. Today, we are going to discuss what the fable means. Do you have any guesses? Oh, great idea. Now I'm ready to share my presentation with you in order to discuss uh, the definition of the fable. So, the fable is a short, simple story where animals are as characters. They speak and act like humans. Fables are designed to teach a moral or practical lesson. Moreover, fable can be amusing. Now, I have got a question to you. What is the aim of the fable? Yeah, absolutely. The fable teaches us, yeah, it teaches us a lesson or a moral. Yeah, absolutely. And today we have not a usual lesson, but a moral and thought provoking one, right? What are we going to do today? Today we are going to teach uh, new vocabulary. Uh, to learn new vocabulary. We are going also to practice past simple. So by the way, tell me please, why do we need to learn new words? Yeah, absolutely. We are going to we are going to learn new words in order to use them in everyday speech and become a well educated people. Yeah, thank you. Today, you will also show how well you understand the moral of the story. And moreover, you will be able to become the authors of the story right into the continuation of the fable. Interested? Let's get started then. And we are supposed to start with new vocabulary. And now I'm ready to share my quizlet with you. I will present the word and its definition. While my presenting, I would like to ask you to come up with uh, your ideas of the sentences using these words. Okay, the first word is cruel, cruel. which means bad or hurting others. The second one is well. well. Well is a hole in the ground with water in it. Rose. Rose, that means to make a deep, loud noise. Attack. Attack. Mm -hmm. Attack is to try to fight. Mad. Mad. Mm -hmm. That is angry. Mad, that is angry. Characters. Characters. What characters? Characters are people or animals in a play or a story. To reply. To reply. What does it mean to reply? To reply means to answer. And the last word is here, the last but not the least, is safe. Safe. Safe means that you, if you are safe, that means that you are not in danger. Okay, thank you for being attentive. Now, please provide your sentences with these words. Anybody? Thank you. Really interesting examples. Now you are going to practice the vocabulary and your task will be to choose the right word for the definition. To do that, I will share my world world activity with you. Okay, and let's play all together. So think, better hurting others. Find please the word 
uh, that describes this one. Afraid, clever, cool, or to hurt. Mm -hmm. Find, please, the right word for this definition. Better hurting others. That is cruel, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next one. Well, at last. Try to find the synonym to this word at last. Clever, finally, to reply angry. Finally, yeah, absolutely. Next one. Let's see, try to fight. What does it mean? To attack. Okay. Middle, to be pleased or trick. Try to fight. So try to find the correct word to attack. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Next one. So the definition is the lowest part. What do you think the word is? Bottom, lot, moment, or promise? Bottom. Absolutely. Next one. Next word is angry. The definition is angry. So try to find the word. So mad, low, scared, or happy. Mad. Yeah, absolutely. Next word. Uh, moment. Mm -hmm. Try to find the explanation for this word, the definition for this word. Is it a short period of time, a hole with a word in it, an attack, or maybe a long period of time? It is a short period of time. Yeah, absolutely. Next one, next one. Let's see to reply. What does it mean to reply? To answer, to get to a place, to attack, or to try to find. Two arms, so we mentioned it. Yes, and the last one, but not the least again, safe. So, uh, being safe, what does it mean? To be full, to be not seen, not worried about any, being heard or angry. If you are safe, you are not worried about being heard. Yeah, absolutely. Great job. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. Now, we may come up to the story, to the fable itself. And to do this, I would like to share a picture with you. Look very attentively at this picture, okay? And tell me, please, whom do you see on this picture? The animals, right, the animals. What animals can you see? A lion and a rabbit, absolutely. How can you characterize a lion and a rabbit as animals? Yeah, well done. Thank you. So what do you think the story is about? About their friendship? I'm not sure about that. Let's get to know. And just right now, I am ready to share my text with you. The text of the fable. While reading this text, please pay attention to the world to the words which are in red and green colors. So look very attentively at the words in red colors. What are they? They are verbs, yeah, absolutely. But what verbs are they? Are they regular or irregular? They are regular verbs. What about green words? They are verbs again, but irregular. Absolutely. Yeah, well done. So your task will be to read in turn paragraph by paragraph. We will stop after reading each paragraph, trying to predict the continuation of the story. Is that clear? Okay, let's get started then.